I want to uh, key into one specific term here, and that is the, the term that's kind of threaded throughout the whole conversation today, which is Pentecostal. It's mm-hmm. something that a lot of people might have certain uh, associations with. They might uh, pick up certain connotations, have certain feelings around it. But I have a feeling that if I asked even a lot of my viewers who I would affectionately call full on nerds, they might not be able to give me a very clear definition if I ask them to define Pentecostalism. So just so we're all on the same page here, how are you using that term in both your book and in this conversation? Yeah, well, you know, that's a great observation. Um, I think there's um, um, uh, there's so many different uh, iterations of Pentecostalism, right? Um, to some scholars, some Pentecostal scholars, um, really talk about Pentecostalisms, plural. Um, and so when I use the term Pentecostal, I'm thinking of Doug Jacobson. Um, I'm thinking of Stanley Burgess. Um, I'm really honing into the life and empowerment of the spirit, that type of spirituality, that life and empowerment of the spirit that brings forth gifts, brings forth the experiential sense. Um, I'm thinking of also um, the 20th century revival that started in the Sousa Street, but I think it goes further than that. I think that there's a case Stanley Burgess makes for Pentecostalism um, as being experienced in the New Testament as an empowerment in the life of the spirit and sensing that empowerment experientially. And so when I'm using Pentecostal, that's mainly what I'm referring to. Although in my book, I do go on to make the several distinctions um, between classical Pentecostal, neo-Pentecostal. But for the most part, when I'm using the term, when I utilize the term Pentecostal, I am really, really meaning to suggest and to say that um, Pentecostal as being empowered by the life of the Spirit, um, inclusive of gifts of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, the senses, experiential senses of, the, uh, of uh, sensing the Spirit. So that's kind of really how I'm using um, that in, in a spiritual sense. Theologically, of course, that's a whole different conversation because Pentecostals, for the most part, theologically, we can talk about eschatology. We can talk about, you know, different frameworks as well.